Oh, there. Uh, we got done with the uh, second coat of the kiln wash. That's what we're doing now. Is we're putting kiln wash on all the shells that we uh, that we grinded down. Uh, not the funnest thing in the world to do, but hey, it's not the hardest either, though. Uh, I think the main problem people have is uh, the recipe uh, for the kiln wash itself. If you use just EPK, uh, it can have a tendency to dry. When it dries, it'll flake. It'll, you know, the shrinkage rate is what is uh, very high. So it looks like you didn't even do nothing but make a mess on your kiln shelf. So the recipe that we use is basically uh, if you take EPK and you put it in your kiln on a bisque load, say you know you take four or five cups of it or whatever, and put it in your in your bisque load uh, as you heat it up, it becomes calcined. It's basically uh, pre-shrunk. How's that? You pre-shrink it. So after you pre-shrink shrink it, uh, basically what you do then is, you, well, our recipe, what we do is 25% EPK, 25% calcined EPK, and 50% aluminum hydrate. And uh, it works pretty good. We haven't had uh, any huge problems or anything like that with it. Uh, we actually like it. Uh, using it again, our last it, it lasted quite a while. These uh, five-sided half shelves go with our electric kiln. That's what came with it. And the mess. God, it's getting cluttered down here. We got a little bit of everything going on right now. It's right in the middle of maintenance, right? <laughs> in the other kiln too. But uh, whenever you mix that up, don't mix it up real thick. It should be about the uh, consistency of milk. Let me get this over here in the light. Swoosh it up. It's pretty thin stuff. You can see it's really sloshy. that has been really good for us um gosh i hate to even put a time limit or how many firings or something like that that it lasted for us on the last time because you know some people like to uh basically they like grinding shelves i guess or something i don't know but they'll sorry for all the movement they will um do a, a bisque load and they'll do a glaze load and they'll take their shelves and they'll grind all that off they'll flip the shelf over use the other side this is so over time the heat you know your shelves will stay straight and they won't bow out real bad or anything and they'll do this like that every time or every two firings or whatever uh we just flipped all the shelves first time in probably <clears throat> uh probably four years <laughs> but we haven't had any you know great big major problems or anything like that either though except we got one shelf that does have a pretty good crack in it but actually the kiln wash covered it up and you can't really see it but it's it's cracked pretty good can't say that it's not maybe we should have been doing that with that shelf i don't know but the whole grinding and all that stuff just isn't uh my cup of tea all the time you know be doing it that much every time we bisque fired and kiln fired and after that kiln firing then that's what you want to do but you know kiln shelves ain't cheap either though if you have to go buy them we picked up uh these round ones come with go with the uh gas kiln that's what came with it and there was two of them this size and then there was a half round too but the main thing is that recipe try that recipe see how you like it and make sure you mix it to uh like a, a, a milk consistency and uh you can also put it on with a roller a, a super smooth roller to go on real easy and smooth and look real good we just brushed this on these right here uh, you know either way but you, you just want to put three coats we put one coat on going this way and we put the next one on going this way and of course the last one will go on going this way and uh i also take 
any spots that are high like we got this little blurry looking thing right there i was actually trying to get it to stick in that hole there a little bit better but it didn't want to but before the last coat i'll just take it i'll lightly sand that just get it flat and smooth that way if we have to use a kiln post in that area it won't give us no trouble i think there's a little little spot there's a little spot but it's not no big deal this one looks pretty good and flat this one looks good and flat and when this dries it'll be uh it'll look just like a just like you painted snow on it or something it'll be a good bright white color so until next time give it a shot have some fun with it <laughs> yeah right i know goodbye